Thousands use this escalator every day, and many don't know this is where the worst fire in the history of the tube started. This is Escalator 4 at King's Cross. A lit match ignited grease, eventually creating a huge fireball. Stuart Button is now retired, but nearly 30 years ago, he was one of the first firefighters to arrive. You heard a sort of dull whump sound. You could see a thick black wall of, of smoke engulfing them. It was traveling faster than they could walk. So what we did was, you know, we were hurrying up ourselves to get out of the station. We were hoovering up people, really, saying to people, get out. Just two minutes after they arrived, the fire had flashed over and engulfed the ticket hall. It was then that we heard all, started hearing all the screams. I thought there must be loads, loads of people down there, just scream after scream. The Soho station officer died in the fire. His locker space is left empty as a memorial. 30 years on and this official report still makes terrifying reading. It describes how this station full of commuters turned into a furnace. It also outlines how the response from the emergency services was hampered due to a breakdown in communication and there was a lack of knowledge of the station layout. Transport bosses are condemned as being blinkered. The approach to dealing with fires seriously flawed. The following inquiry led to huge changes to the tube and the fire services safety regimes. Among the many recommendations, wooden escalators should be removed, smoking should be banned and heat detectors and sprinklers should be installed and crucially the emergency services should be able to communicate with each other underground. Most of the recommendations have since been implemented. These type of exercises are now part of training and legislation ensures minimum staffing levels on deep line stations. Although a new radio system was only introduced after the 7-7 bombings in 2005. There isn't a month goes by in my job that we don't reference the King's Cross fire. It had such a phenomenal and beneficial effect on the organization. So out of a desperate tragedy, good things have actually come. So if you stand in this great station here, one of the things that built this station is out of that terrible, terrible disaster. So our customers should be very reassured, but our thoughts are very, very much with the people who lost their lives and were injured. With cuts due on the tube, the unions say they'll resist anything that they think could compromise safety. And these changes only happened after the deaths of 31 Londoners. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.